They're killing birds, hunters shooting thousands of them at the mouth of the Columbia River. Now this is happening on East Sand Island and it's all perfectly legal after bird lovers exhausted their legal appeals. We sent Cor Harlan to get the facts. Over the weekend, the Army Corps of Engineers began killing double-crested cormorants. The Corps says this concentration of cormorants on East Sand Island in the mouth of the Columbia River could be the largest in the world. And as cormorant numbers have grown, so has their need for salmon. As they're nesting, they need to feed their young, and it's a perfect food source as, as the smolt uh, migrate out toward the ocean. I asked Robert Winters of the Army Corps to explain the reason for killing the cormorants. He tells me trying to scare the birds away won't eliminate the problem, it'll just move it around. And he says, the birds eat around 11 million juvenile salmon every year. If you put that in context, there's 3.8 million people living in Oregon. So that's two and a half times the entire population of Oregon. So it's a significant impact. The birds are eating so many juvenile salmon, it's becoming a real problem. On this single island, the Corps wants to reduce the cormorant population from about 14,000 breeding pairs to about 5,800 breeding pairs. The Army Corps of Engineers wants to keep cormorants out of the lower Columbia River. They only eat fish, and the further up the Columbia they come, the more dangerous they could be to salmon populations. Conservation groups lost their latest legal appeal last week when a judge refused to stop the bird kill plan. Conservationists say dams on the Columbia River are killing fish and not cormorants. Although there's still a lawsuit challenging the plan, it isn't scheduled for a court hearing until later this summer. Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. And the Army Corps wants to get to that goal of 5,800 breeding pairs of cormorants by the end of 2017. Between now and then, they'll be killing some of those birds as well as destroying their nests and their eggs. Well